guys, welcome. What is my hand doing? I don't even know what's happening. And my straw's in the way. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Skylar, also known as Sky, and I create makeup videos, vlogs, pretty much anything I feel like posting, that's what I post. So, yeah. But anyways, today I created this look right here. It is like a blue and green ish look mostly blue and anyways I just added a little pop of green in there but yeah this was originally supposed to be like a my favorites video for like summer and like oily skin and whatnot so this whole like base makeup is good for oily skin and acne prone skin and whatever whatnot but I also threw in this eye look just because I just I was feeling creative okay so anyways this is what I created today, and if you would like to see it, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I've already done my eyebrows and one eye off camera because I wanted to focus not necessarily on the eye look, but just on, you know, the products and my favorites and, you know, all that junk. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this eye. Um... I already primed it with shape tape, but that was before I even started my other eye, so I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Um, for eyebrows, I went in with the NYX, what is this one called? The Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Ash Brown. That's one of my favorite um, eyebrow pencils. Not necessarily for the summer, but just like a drugstore one. It's so much like... The Anastasia, um, not the Brow Definer, the Brow Wiz. So I love it so much. So I don't know why I did a dramatic look because I was just going to focus on skin and like just like your base makeup, not necessarily the eye, but I was just feeling creative today and uh, I don't know. This is just kind of what happened. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is in the James Charles palette. I'm going to go in with this blue right here. I'm going to put that all on the outer V of my eye and then I'm going to bring it in for the top of the cut crease. Okay, next I'm going in with the Blue Blood palette and I'm going to use the shade Blue Blood. It's this really nice like sky blue. Um, I was going to try to do the full look with just this palette, but they don't have like a nice dark blue, like a royal blue type blue, you know? This one over here is like, it's called Blue Monday and it's kind of purpley and I didn't want my look to be purple. And then they have Undertaker, but I think that one's a little bit too dark. I wanted more of like a navy blue to like a royal blue. And I'm going to pack that right at the top. Obviously that isn't like a look at all. So whenever I put this lighter blue on the top of that, it's going to kind of blend it out a little bit and it's it's going to look blended. Now I'm just going in with a clean brush just so I can blend out the edges. Now I'm going to go back in with this small blending brush and I'm going to go back in with the um, blue shade from the James Charles palette. And I'm going to intensify the dark blue a little bit more. That way whenever I cut my crease, it's very pigmented and vibrant. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and my little concealer brush and I'm going to um, do a half cut crease. So when I do my half cut crease, I usually stop a little bit sooner, like closer into my eye than what I normally want to go because whenever I tap over it with my finger, um, when I get to the end it kind of blends it together a little bit so it's like less work with the brush you can just tap it together and then the shadow will mix with the concealer a little bit on the very end and it's a lot easier to blend out okay so now i'm going to go in with a flat brush and i'm going to pack this shade out of the james charles palette it is a shimmer baby bluish color um and i'm going to pack that on like right in the middle of my eye and then so it's going to go dark blue to the shimmer um, baby blue and then to a shimmer like greenish yellow color okay now i'm going to go back in with that small blending brush and i'm going to go back in with that same dark blue color from the james charles palette 
and I'm gonna pack it on the outer edge again just to intensify it a little bit more and blend together baby blue shimmer that I just applied with this one um, since I'm blending a matte shade with a shimmer shade I like to kind of tap it in instead of rubbing it because then it, I usually get too much of the shimmer over where it's supposed to be matte and then I just don't like it anymore so I usually like to just tap it over it and then it will blend together by itself now I'm gonna wipe off this brush that I used for the shimmer because I love using this brush for shimmers this is the Jaclyn Hill JH41 by the way which what happened to her like is she good I don't even I don't know now I'm gonna go in with slime out of the Daisy Marquez and BH cosmetics palette which if you guys have not seen my review on this palette go check it out it is so good and the look I did was like I'm pretty proud of that look but anyways we're gonna go in with slime and I'm gonna put that on the first half of the cut crease that I just did or the half cut crease well, I don't know what it's called also just in case you're wondering there is a baby blue color in the Daisy Marquez palette but I decided to use the one out of the James Charles palette because this one has more of like like baby blue turquoise and like those type of vibes and then the one in the James Charles palette is more of like a baby blue icy white and it's I just wanted the icy white because I wanted it to like brighten a little bit more instead of being more like you know now I'm going to take my roller liner by Benefit which by the way this is my favorite eyeliner I really like the brown one too um, but today for this look I'm going to be using the black one but I'm just going to do I'm going to draw a tiny 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 line right along my lash line um, just for where my lash band is going to go but I'm not winging it out I'm not doing anything fancy I'm literally just just stamping a line across my eyelid. Okay, now I'm going to pop on some roller liner, mas I mean roller lash mascara by Benefit, um, and then I'm going to pop on my eyelash, and then we'll get started on our face makeup. Also, just so you guys know, I don't know the name of these lashes. I wore them yesterday. Oh, just kidding! They're right here. <laughs> okay, I wore these yesterday. Um, I don't have the packaging to them, but they're literally from the beauty supply, and they're in like that red and black packaging. They're like five bucks. But anyways, these are the 3D Lash in 272L. I'm guessing the L is long. I really don't know. But these are so freaking cute. Boom. Okay. Now it is time for face makeup. So I've already done like my skincare, you know, all that good stuff. Wash my face, whatever, whatnot. Um, I have not put on primer. So I have been putting on a lot of primers because if you guys cannot tell... Your girl's acne is back. Well, it was back. And then I did... There's a lot going on with my skin, okay? I'm gonna do an updated, like, skincare stuff for you guys because it is going away now. You guys probably cannot tell, but 90% of the redness on my face is scarring. It is not acne. Um, I've been taking medicine. I've been doing treatments. I've been microneedling. I've been doing those little roller things with the rose quartz and whatnot um and it has get gotten so much better um that's gonna be a whole separate video so stay tuned for that because it has been one hell of a roller coaster and i'm so proud to say that it is starting to disappear again um it did like i did get rid of it and then it came back and it hit twice as hard this last time um, that's also part of the reason why I don't film as much because I'm very insecure about my skin and it was getting to the point where it was like painful But anyways time for primers. So first I'm going to go in with the Tatcha primer I like to use this one underneath my eyes um, because I don't know why but it just makes my concealer like lay down so nicely, but I do this like kind of my t-zone I guess but mostly like under my eyes and then oh my goodness I'm so sorry I'm drinking a soda and I keep burping but anyways um I like to put it right here I don't know what this is called on my cheeks I guess and right underneath my eye then I'm gonna go in with 
this. This is the NARS Pour, Pour and Shine Control Primer. This one, it's a pore filler and it's also a shine control, which if you guys um, don't know already or if you're new to my channel or you just don't keep up with me, I really don't know. But anyways, I have extremely oily skin and this is one, oh my god, I'm almost out of it. This is one of my favorite primers to use. It does keep me matte and it does, like you can see a difference in my pores whenever I put this one on. And I do put this one everywhere because I have texture um, where my acne used to be and where it still like kind of is. I like to use this one because it helps a lot with my texture. My window's like open right here and it's like facing the front yard and my neighbors across the street are looking at me. It's kind of awkward. Go subscribe, guys. Thanks. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. So recently I have been mixing two of them. Um, so whenever I'm not tanned, this is what I wear. This is the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear in the shade Desert Beige, which is two in one. But I self tanned and then it got a little bit too light for me and it's a little bit too pink for my tan. I know I don't like tan right now, it's like really faded, but it's still like, I'm still a little bit darker than this. And then whenever I am tan, I use this, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which I love this foundation. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, it stays on my skin so good. Oh, it has SPF in it, I didn't even know that. Anyways, it stays on my face so good, and then this one obviously does not move. So, I just mix these two together, and it's like the perfect match for me. Guys, so, Anthony's birthday was this past July 4th, um, and we got so lit, and I made a video on it, but I didn't, like, vlog vlog. I kind of just, like, filmed, like, little clips here and there of, like, the fun stuff, and I have, like, a video of a lot of people like taking shots but it's only like three minutes long so I don't really know like if it's worth posting but I kind of want to like make like a July festivities type video because we also went on a vacation and I want to show you guys that too but I did literally the same thing so I don't know I might do that so right now I'm going in with the neutralizer by Maybelline, this is the Age Rewind. I'm going to go in with some setting powder. I'm going in with the Airspun powder. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, I really like the Laura Mercier one, but as far as drugstore goes... I freaking love this powder. It smells like a grandma, but I really don't mind it, to be honest. I, fragrance might be, like, a big thing to some people, but I don't mind it in this. Now that we're looking like a little ghost, we're gonna go in with our Butter Bronzer. This is my all-time favorite bronzer. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. Um, if you watch my videos, you have most definitely seen this, because this is my absolute favorite bronzer. And... I realized I haven't told you guys any of my brushes, but they're literally all Morphe. But this one right here is a Morphe R10. I like this one because it's not super big, but it is still fluffy. Next, I'm going to go in with blush. I'm using this. I think it's Olimar Cosmetics. I honestly don't really know the name of this, but this came in my BoxyCharm. I'm pretty sure I think you guys have seen me use this. Um, but I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here. It is one of my all-time favorites now. Okay. I'm not a huge blush. 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 I'm not a huge blush. Per, blu I'm not a huge blush person. But I do like a little bit of color. But I don't really like a lot. Like, well, duh. But. I'm so annoyed. I like a little bit of color, but I don't like anything crazy, so I literally barely put anything on, and I usually do a darker blush, um, like more of a mauve rather than a pink or an orange, so that way it's not as, like, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my sponge and my airspun powder, and I'm going to cut the bottom of my contour. 
I usually only cut like the back of it like from here to there I don't go all the way because I don't like it to be too dramatic right up underneath my cheeks also literally for this whole video if you can see my mirror and my straw and whatever I'm really sorry but my grandma took my normal filming desk filming my my grandma took my normal filming desk so I had to improvise and move literally my whole vanity table so leave me alone okay at least I'm doing a look for you guys all right all right I'm going to do my lower lash line so what I have been doing recently and I have been loving it so much is taking an eyebrow pencil not pencil dude what is English today Skylar are you okay like are you good are you good Sky just tell me cuz you know you don't seem good all right so what I've been doing recently is taking an eyebrow brush because it is very thin and uh, slanted and whatnot and I've been drawing a line I'm gonna take the dark shade out of the James Charles palette literally the exact same one that I used on my eyes and I'm gonna draw a line on the bottom lash line like literally like stamp it right on my lash line and I want it to be really pigmented because whenever I start blending it out I don't want it to fade away like all the way I just want it to kind of blend and then now you're looking like you're back in middle school and you just learned how to do makeup you're gonna go in with a very small blending brush I'm gonna go back in with this this is the same one that I used for the outer corner and I'm gonna go in with that um, baby blue shade I think it's called blue blood in the blue blood palette and I'm gonna start buffing this one out and it's gonna blend them together basically exactly like it did at the top just on the lower lash line since I'm using a dramatic color I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and I'm gonna put it under my eye to like bake that way I could just wipe away any extra color yes yes now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye put on some bottom mascara and then I will be right back oh my god I just realized I forgot to put bronzer on my freaking nose that's why I look weird highlight is next first I'm gonna spray my face with my morphe setting spray absolutely love this for blending my makeup I mean melting my makeup into my skin it is phenomenal I kind of go ham pretty much every time All right. fan ourselves we're gonna go in with highlight because my face isn't 100% dry even though it is almost I'm gonna go in with the flower beauty um, highlight I'm gonna use the shade couldn't tell you I'm gonna use this, these first two shades I'm gonna mix them together and we're gonna blind people Wow! Whoa. she is pretty I swear this highlight gets me like every time I freaking love it I swear highlight pretty much always brightens my mood like 99.9999999999999% of the time. I'm gonna use this teensy little brush. It's by Japanesque. Japanesku. Japan something like that. It's just a little pencil brush. And I'm gonna go in with... You can really use either one depending on what palette you guys decide to use or what it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna use like an icy white highlighter. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner and on my brow bone. Wow. Now, lips. I'm going to go in first with this Morphe um, lipstick in the shade Honey. It is a matte lipstick. No, I'm not going to line my lips because I can't find my pencil sharpener. 
and I need to sharpen my pencil, so I'm just gonna go for it, okay? Don't come at me. So I'm gonna put this all over. I'm gonna take this. This is the Olimar, the same brand as my blush. This also came in my boxy charm. Oh! <laughs> this also came in my boxy charm. I'm gonna, this is in the shade. Las de nude as conquera. Is that even English? I don't think that's English. I couldn't tell you. Anyways, and voila. There you go. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. I'm sorry about all the malfunctions, and if it's all over the place, I'm incredibly sorry. This was originally supposed to be like a, like a, my favorite products or whatever, but then I wanted to do a dramatic look, and then I ended up like, I, I don't know. Okay, I just hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this look. I think it looks really good. Fresh, cool, summer. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to my channel to keep up with me. Um, here before long, I am going to come out with my skincare, my updated skincare journey, routine, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do have cystic acne for those of you who don't know. So, if you want to hear about my journey, stay tuned because it is pretty intense and I'm going to let you guys, I'm, I'm just going to be 100% real, alright? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.